Eternal List is out. I binged it today so I could finish it while the guys were at lunch. I, I binged the last episode. I should see all the way up to the last episode uh, because I really need to catch up. And, uh, you know, we've been on the road. But I cannot say how proud we are to, as a company to be, to be part of this. And it is much as many scenes it was part of and all that is just uh, it's amazing for us. So we're really excited about it. But I'm going to kind of talk you through what we see in the film, the tactical applications, you know, all the movie versus reality and all that yada yada, but what we intended this for. But I will say when they first opened up the case and I saw the 50 cal, I was like, oh shit, we got a problem. Because uh, if they put this on a 50 cal and people think it's going to work, they're going to be really pissed off. You might get a one shot on a 50 cal, but you just wasted three grand. But I mean, it might work more than once. We haven't tested it yet, but I'm sure we will soon, um, but we don't recommend it. You know, that being said, we also did not necessarily build this for a CQB style application, but it will work. Um, you know, uh, it's especially in this in, in the way he was using it for the smoke and stuff like that, which we'll talk about that in a second. It does work in those situations, uh, you know, but once again, we did not necessarily build this for a CQB style weapon. I think if maybe they put a 45 offset or something up there on there to make it a little bit more uh, believable, but maybe that's just uh, that's just me. But also. You know, a guy at this level could probably just assume it at that short distance where that bullet's hitting because he's so used to sending rounds down range. But another conversation for another video. Let's uh, let's get started here. We're start about minute 38 in the, the last episode. So if you haven't seen it, don't watch this. Anyway, old Mr. Reese coming in here and just tearing stuff up, tearing stuff up. So it's highly contested. Some people say thermals will not work with smoke. They will work. Thermals are looking for heat differences, right? So a heat difference is going to be, if, if you have that smoke, you have a thick cloud of smoke. Now, obviously, the true military grade is going to throw out a lot of smoke. It's going to be kind of hard to see through, but it, well, you can see through smoke uh, if, uh, you know, if you're in a close situation. So actually, in this situation, the thermal would be outstanding. Ooh, what's he going to do? Come around the corners. He's coming around the corner when he comes. Oh, right about here when he's coming around the corner. Oop, little knee shot. Boom, boom, ooh. I'm assuming those are squibs they used uh, for the because it's gonna, still going to put out heat and still use some gunpowder. But that was impressive. Those were actually images from our from our thermal, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And he's going to take a little peek, a little flash bangy, draw them out. But once again, in this situation, the thermal would have an advantage because you can see the heat signatures just like that when they peek around. And they was actually using the red hot, which you know you got the white hot, black hot, red hot. Um, once again, that's a quick overview of what the incentives can do. If you guys would like to see it, we're actually building a, 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 an HK416 like this with the, the actual same side on there as well, just to go play with. If you like, guys like to see us do some videos on uh, actual practical applications in this situation, let us know in the comments below. Um, but like everything else, like, follow, share, come talk to us. Anywhere you look, AccuFire Tech, that's us.